Once a year, a student pushes her off a building, but she's not afraid when she falls. Instead, she stares intently at her class's unique armband, expecting to be able to guess the identity of the killer. But each time, she was disappointed. The moment she touched the ground, time and space suddenly stood still. Then a year of time began to rewind. Countless memories passed through her mind again. When Mary reacted, she was back on the first day of school. This cycle has been going on for three years. Although she couldn't die, she was pushed down the stairs once a year by her own students on the day of graduation. Mary still couldn't help but feel a shiver run down her spine. For the past three years, she'd gotten to know each and every one of her students. However, she didn't know who had such a strong grudge against her. Looking at all the familiar faces, Mary couldn't help but feel scared again. Who exactly is that demon? After these cycles, Mary knew that if she wanted to find the person who harmed her, she had to get inside those ten students. The next day, she proposed to the class that she would try her best to fulfill any request from the students as long as they became her friend. The students instantly scoffed at Mary's lowly gesture. They had never met a teacher who wanted to please them. But there was one girl, Lisa, who listened very carefully, and she was the only one who didn't let out any jeers. Sure enough, after school, Lisa found Mary and tried to say something to her, but she was interrupted by Jack. Jack then followed Mary to the rooftop. He prayed that Mary would pass his needy scholarship. As long as Mary agrees, he'll consider Mary as a friend he can talk to about anything. However, Mary knew that Jack had always said that his family was poor and it was just his parents controlling his pocket money. Suddenly Mary thought could it be that she had been rejecting Jack's poverty application and that had caused him to push himself down the stairs when he graduated, whether Jack was the murderer or not. The next day Mary put the half million dollars Jack needed in his locker. She saw it as the first step in integrating with her students. Just when Mary was feeling bad about her money, her best friend called and asked her to sing with her. Mary, who was already in a bad mood, wanted to relax. But in the singing room, she saw her students. Jack was in there dividing up her half a million dollars. They weren't afraid of Mary's intrusion, but laughed at her for being a fool. How could she believe this lying liar? Her true feelings were met with ridicule and deceit. Mary was at a loss. David ordered Jack to return the half million dollars to Mary. But as Mary was about to leave, David made a profound remark that the game had just begun. This statement left Mary in a state of confusion. What game was he talking about? The next day, Mary wanted to find a new breakthrough. She set her sights on Lisa, who had been left out of the class. After school, she took her to the chemistry lab. She nominally wanted to tutor Lisa, but actually wanted to ask why Lisa had been left out of class. But she didn't know what was going on. This time, Lisa wouldn't say anything. But when Lisa was about to leave, some of her classmates barricaded her in the doorway. Then the whole class held an assembly against Lisa. 